conservation practitioners worldwide are searching for more cost-effective and equitable ways of generating and using scarce funds. The SINCERE project looks at innovative ways to value and implement forest ecosystem services through the development of novel policies and new business models, such as payments for ecosystem services. Eleven innovation actions have provided the basis for continuous collaborative learning, each of them with an associated innovation mechanism to provide new income streams and further develop the forest ecosystems. We'll now look into four of these case studies. Danish Forest Association, it's a federation of Danish private forest owners and was founded in 1888. The purpose of the association is to work politically to secure private forest owners the possibility to manage the forest. The aim is to inspire to a change in grant schemes for biodiversity protection in a way that it can be more cost efficient and at the same time enhance the biodiversity. The innovative mechanism itself is a reverse auction where forest owners offer biodiversity conservation measures in a fairly open call, which means the forest owners decide himself which type of conservation measure he will offer and at what price. Il Consorzio Comunale Parmense è nato nel 1957. Lo scopo del Consorzio è quello di gestire dal punto di vista tecnico e amministrativo queste proprietà collettive di uso civico che si chiamano appunto comunaglie. Le comunaglie sono state le prime in Italia che hanno istituito delle riserve per la raccolta dei funghi nel 1963. Grazie a questa istituzione di, di riserve le comunaglie hanno potuto sia salvaguardare questo prodotto da una raccolta indiscriminata, sia poter incamerare degli introiti che poi vengono usati per migliorare i boschi. Grazie a questo progetto abbiamo sperimentato una nuova modalità di, di vendita dei biglietti grazie alla realizzazione di un'app cartografica che dà appunto la possibilità al turista di acquistare i biglietti online. Però soprattutto è, è innovativa anche perché ha la possibilità in modo anonimo di essere tracciato da alle organizzazioni di soccorso, quindi ad esempio dalla protezione civile, per cui se si dovesse perdere la protezione civile vede immediatamente dove si trova il, il turista. Anche il consorzio è molto soddisfatto di questo progetto, innanzitutto perché è stato un progetto lungo che però ha coinvolto tutti gli stakeholders del, del territorio, quindi sia le organizzazioni di soccorso, sia le comunali che sono quelle che vendono i biglietti, sia i turisti, perché abbiamo fatto anche molte interviste ai turisti per il progetto, sta andando avanti molto bene, siamo molto molto soddisfatti. We've been working with an innovation action that uh, proposes payment for ecosystem services system called Landscape and Recreation Value Trade. Our innovation mechanism proposes payment model for ecosystem services called Landscape and Recreation Value Trade, which uh, private forest owners are compensated for enhancing landscape and recreation values in their own forests. This uh, innovation action was conducted in uh, Rukakusamo tourism area. First, a planning process where we selected forest areas that are valuable in terms of biodiversity, landscape and carbon stock. And this was followed by a pilot to collect and distribute funds for private forest owners to enhance landscape and recreation values. The innovation mechanism uh, was funded by voluntary donations by tourism entrepreneurs and local citizens. The funds are used to compensate forest owners for management changes needed in hotspots in Rukakusamo area. The CPF is a public agency of the Catalan government which deals with the sustainable forest management of private forests. In the Innovation Action in Catalonia we wanted to explore the link between forests and water and also to explore the possibilities of payment for ecosystem services schemes to be implemented in our context. And to do so we have chosen the forests around the water reservoir of Real. First, we included forest and forestry in the master plan of the water reservoir, where forest management was recognized as a key activity in the area to secure forest ecosystem services. Then we focused in the development of a payment for ecosystem services scheme, a local fund for forests and water. 
The fund involved the creation of Forest Owners Association in the area. They hold now the fund and are responsible for implementing the forestry treatments. Right now, the, the association is producing a forest management plan where they set the priority areas to enhance ecosystem services related to water, but also to carbon sequestration and biodiversity. At the end, payments from the beneficiaries of this water provision will be distributed through this fund to the forest owners implementing the prescribed forestry treatments. We're very happy with the implementation of this innovation action because we have learned how to implement these governance and participatory processes, realize how powerful these payment for ecosystem services are in terms of empowering forest owners to engage in forest management and also to feel like they are the stewards of the forest. As these case studies show, different projects in different locations require different solutions. To innovate, it is crucial to adapt to each context and take in consideration the stakeholders' interests and needs while being aware of the institutional constraints and possibilities. Connecting knowledge and expertise from practice, science and policy across Europe and beyond. Find all the resources and reports resulting from work carried out in the Sincere project on sincereforests.eu. Sincere. Innovating for forest ecosystem services.